Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to design a gaming using Azure Cosmos DB and Azure Analytics platform. I will talk about a list of components that require to design this gaming using Cosmos DB architecture. And I will also talk about the data flow and some of the, the potential use cases where we can use this design in real time. And I, I will also show you how to design this architecture using one of the, the flowchart tool that is Lucid chart. So I'm here in the Lucid chart and I will start design this architecture. So before I design this architecture, and uh, let me just um, mention a list of components that require to design this architecture. And we will need Azure Traffic Manager, Azure App Service, and Azure CDN, Azure Storage Account, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Data Bricks, Azure Functions, and Azure Notification Hub. So I will, I will collect all the components like my earlier module. So I will mention components on one side and uh, the data flow on the other side so that you can understand um, a better. And also I will explain you a step-by-step, -step, like, you know, step one, step two, step step three, it's how the, uh, the, the process works, the process flow. And let me start uh, collecting the list of components here in the Lucid chart. So first I need Azure Traffic Manager. So I will go to first, just look for Azure Traffic Manager. So it looks like I don't have, let me just say Traffic Manager. So let me just bring this here. And, and here I will just mention the components. And let me explain you how this Azure Traffic Manager works. Azure Traffic Manager is a DNS-based load balancer that controls the distribution of user traffic for service endpoints in different Azure regions. So during normal operation, it routes requests to the primary region. If the region becomes unavailable, Traffic Manager can fail over to secondary region as needed. Let's say you have uh, two regions available and uh, let's say Europe and Asia. And somehow that um, European region is not available and what this traffic manager does, it will round to the closest region. So let's say the closest region maybe is Asia and somewhere in the South Asia then it can route it to the South Asia. So that's how this traffic manager works. So here I'll just mention in the, the components, Azure traffic manager. And next we need uh, API, Azure API management. I'll just say API. Let me look for Azure API. API apps, and now, uh, now I have your API apps, just bring it here. And let me tell you how this uh, Azure API apps works. We just discussed about Azure Traffic Manager, and I will also talk about this Azure API management. Azure API management provides an API gateway that sits in front of the gaming APIs. The API management also can be used to implement concerns such as enforcing usage quotas and threat limits, validating authorization tokens for authentication, enabling cross-origin requests, caching responses, monitoring and logging requests. And and our next component is Azure API apps.
and we need Azure Cosmos DB. So I will just say Azure here, and I have Cosmos DB available here. So let me bring that Cosmos DB here. And I, th I think I may have to move this a little bit because I will get more components. And our second, our third component will be Azure Cosmos DB. And earlier, one of the, the designs that we used Azure Cosmos DB, uh, we discussed like, how this Cosmos DB works. But uh, how do we use this Cosmos DB in this architecture? Azure Cosmos DB stores users' game state data. And it is a fully managed NoSQL database service for building and modernizing scalable and high performance applications. And the next component is Azure Databricks. I'll just say Azure Databricks. And let me look, let me bring Azure Databricks here. And we need uh, Azure Functions and Azure Storage Account and Azure Notification Hub. Let me mention all here, Azure Functions. And we need uh, Azure Notification Hub. And we need Azure CDN and Azure Storage. So we have all the list of components um, mentioned here that what we need to build this architecture. And let me grab Azure Function. So I think Azure Functions, I think it's not available here. Let me just look in Azure. Yeah, we have Function Apps available. Let me bring that here, Azure Function Apps. And Azure Functions is a serverless compute option that allows applications to run on demand without having to man infrastructure. And other service that we need, Azure Notification Hubs. I'm just looking for Azure Notification Hub. Let me just say Azure Notification. It is not available. Let me look further. So Azure Notification Hub's available in the, the web. So let me bring this here. So now I have a Notification Hub's available. Okay, let me just use the other one, Notification Hub's. And we need Azure CDN. And how this CDN works. So Azure CDN delivers static and cached content from locations close to users to reduce latency. So let me look for Azure CDN. I'll just say Azure CDN. And I think again, we have to go and look at the shapes in Azure. And let me bring Azure CDN profiles here. API apps. And we need Azure storage. And let me just look for Azure Storage. And we have Azure Storage Azure. Let me just bring it here. Now we have all the list of components that we need to design this gaming using Cosmos DB architecture. So let me just bring the mobile icon here. So that's our first step. or it could be any device, mobile or any device. And I will start explaining the data flow. And let me quickly um, go over the components that we need to build this architecture, to design this architecture. So we need Azure Traffic Manager, Azure API Management, and Azure App Service, Azure CDN, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Databricks, and Azure Functions, and Azure Notification Hub. 
So how this notification helps work? It is a massively scalable push notification engine for quickly sending notifications to a variety of mobile devices and platforms. And we know how the Azure storage uh, works, the blob storage where uh, it stores the massive amount of data. It could be structured, unstructured, or semi-structured. And Azure blob storage are optimized to store large amounts of uh, unstructured data, such as static or gaming media. Uh, I will explain the data flow in step-by-step -step here. So step one, I'll say, Step step one, I will say one. And then let me start connecting. The first we connect to this, to this Azure Traffic Manager. And here I will just name Azure Traffic Manager. Azure Traffic Manager routes a user's game traffic to the apps hosted in Azure App Service or Azure Functions or Azure Containers and to APIs that are published via Azure API Gateway. So let me just say this, Azure API app, and I'll say game backend. So our first step to connect to this, and uh, let me say this is step one. And this Azure Traffic Manager routes all the game traffic to the app hosted in the Azure app service. Okay, thing. let me just mention Azure, Azure API apps. And our second step, is Azure CDN serves static images and game content to the user that are stored in Azure Blob Storage. And let me connect this, how this works, and let me just select this as none and uh, change the direction and connect back here. Okay, let me delete. Now I need to connect here. Oh, okay. I think I could keep everything same and this is not and see if it changes yes okay so now let me connect back here to the traffic manager so what step our step two that azure cdn serves all the static images and game content to the user that are stored in our Azure block storage. And let's say this is Azure block storage. Okay, and here I will just mention this is our step two. And at, at the, once I connect all these, then I will list down all the steps in the data flow sections. Don't worry about it. So first I want to explain like, you know, each step, how we connect. Once we receive all the data from um, users, uh, users, any device could be mobile or any device, uh, this traffic manager routes all the, the traffic to the apps hosted in uh, Azure App Service. And the second step, the, the CDN serves all the static images and the game content to the user that are already stored in Azure Block Storage. And what is our third step? And our third step, is Azure Cosmos DB stores users game state data. And uh, let me just connect this here, the Azure Cosmos DB. And I will mention this is step three. And our step four, Azure Data Bricks correlates, cleanses, and transforms game state data. So here again, we can do all the transformations here. So let me just connect here. This is our step four. And the step five, Azure Functions process the insights derived from Azure Databricks and pushes notifications to mobile devices by using Azure Notification Hub. Now let me just connect this here to the function. 
and from function to Azure Notification Hub. And let me just mention this in step one. So let me quickly review from step one to step five. The step one, the traffic manager routes the gaming traffic to the, the app hosted in Azure API service and to APIs that are published via Azure API Gateway. And our second step, the Azure CDN serves all the static images and game content to the user that are already stored in Azure Storage Account. And the third step is Azure Cosmos database. Azure Cosmos database stores the user's game state data. In step four, Azure Databricks correlates, cleanses, and transforms game state data. In the step five, the Azure Functions processes the insights derived from Azure Databricks and pushes notifications to mobile devices. And here you can see that step step four, where we are doing all the transformation, the ETL transformation, and you can collect all the data and you can clean the data and you can do all the transformation. And then these functions process all the derived from Databricks and pushes notifications to mobile devices by using Azure Notification Hubs. So I will quickly mention all the steps here in the data flow so that you can note down everything. And here, if you see in the architecture on the bottom side, I mentioned all the steps, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. And I moved all the list of components that we need for this architecture. And here you can see on top of the, the architecture. So let me quickly uh, talk about the potential use case where we can use uh, this design. And this gaming solution idea elastically scales our database to accommodate unpredictable bursts of traffic and deliver low latency multiplayer experiences on a global scale. And where we can use, and this specific scenario is based on a gaming scenario for the gaming development industry. The design patterns are relevant for many industries that are required to process high traffic web calls and API requests such as e-commerce and retail application. So we can use this architecture, uh, especially in e-commerce and uh, retail applications. So le let me uh, quickly review the list of components and the steps that are uh, involved in this architecture. And if you have any questions um, on this gaming using Cosmos database architecture, please do not hesitate. Please post all your questions in comment section and I will try to reply as soon as possible. And before I end this module, let me quickly review the components and steps involved in this architecture. So the list of components need to design this architecture, we need Azure Traffic Manager, Azure API Apps, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Databricks, and Azure Functions, Azure Notification Hubs, and Azure CDN, Azure Blob Storage. And the, the steps involved in this data flow, once we receive all the data using Traffic Manager, Traffic Manager routes all the users gaming traffic to the apps hosted in Azure App Service and to APIs that are published via Azure API Gateway. That is our step one. And the step two, and here you can see that Azure CDN, uh, let me just, the Azure CDN and Azure CDN serves static images and game content to users that are already stored in Azure Blob Storage. So this serves all the static images and brings everything that's stored in Azure Blob Storage. And our step three, let me just make it even. Uh, our step three is Azure Cosmos DB, and Azure Cosmos DB stores all users game state data that received through this Azure API gateway. Then the step four, once we have all the data in Azure Cosmos DB and we can connect and access the data and Azure Databricks cor correlates and cleanses and transforms game state data. Once all the data is clean and transformed, the Azure functions processes the insights derived from Azure Databricks and pushes notifications 
to mobile devices by using Azure notification apps. And also we discussed about the potential use case where we can use this design. We can use this. This is this scenario based on a um, game, game development industry and you can use any e-commerce and retail applications. If you have any questions about this design, gaming using Cosmos DB, please post all your questions in the comment section. And thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.